formulas. A la Schmoop. Good evening. I'm just whipping up a batch of some of my favorite formulas. Please, join me. It's so hard to pick a favorite, but I'm kind of partial to this one. The formula for the area of a circle. The magic formula? Pi times radius squared. Pi, that funky looking number that starts with 3.14, is a mathematical constant that tells us the ratio of the circumference of any circle to its diameter. So, the length of a circle's radius will always determine the circle's area. The bigger the radius, the bigger the area. Then again, sometimes I've got a hankering for the formula of a triangle. One half the length of the base times the triangle's height. The clean lines and depth of flavor make this little fella a real standout and often makes an appearance when I'm entertaining. For example, if I've got a triangle with a base length of 8 and a height of 10, the area will be 40. One half of 8 is 4 times 10 is 40. At other times, I'm totally in the mood for the parallelogram area formula. So simple, so elegant, just base times height. When I buy paint for the lab or order carpet for my bedroom, it's always my go-to. Got a rectangular room that's 12 feet by 10 feet? Just multiply them together to get 120 square feet. And now you know exactly how much carpet to get. Oh, I plum near forgot about the trapezoid formula. So beautifully and infuriatingly complex. One half times the sum of base one plus base two times the height. So this podium, for instance. The larger base is three feet, the smaller base is two feet, and the height is four feet. And we get an area of 12 square feet. Oh, my babies, I couldn't possibly pick a favorite. It would be like asking Lady Gaga to pick her favorite song. I'd rather be caught wearing a meat dress than be without any of you.